What's up, Tech fans? This is Ryan Horton coming at you with another Tech Tuesday. So today we're going to be talking about player load. Player load is Catapult's algorithm for figuring out how much work an athlete is doing in any particular session, whether it be a game, practice, or a conditioning session. And so what player load is, the way that I like to think about it is, how much gas is coming out of the tank of that athlete? All right, and with that in mind, we've got three different scenarios all right, using cars all right, as our athletes to kind of use my analogy here. So we've got scenario number one, we've got two cars. One's doing a five hour drive to Jacksonville, one's going 30 minute drive to Marietta. Now in this scenario, car number one is gonna have a higher player load than car number two. They're just covering more distance, all right? So there's probably gonna be more work involved. But sometimes all distance isn't created equal. So Catapult's algorithm focuses more on acceleration rather than just distance. So we look at scenario number two. Now both cars are going to Marietta. Car number one is hopping on the highway, there's no traffic, boom, they're right to where they wanna be. Car number two, they're going city driving. So it's on the gas, on the brakes, on the gas, on the brakes, accelerate, decelerate. Car number two in this scenario is going to have a higher player load. It's going to have a higher workload. It's working more than car number one. And then we get down to scenario number three where we have that same car that's going city driving up to Marietta, but now we've got car number two and they are slamming on the gas, slamming on the brakes, accelerating as hard as possible, decelerating as hard as possible. In this scenario, car number two is going to have a higher player load or a higher workload than anybody else on the board. Now we're able to take this data and we're able to look into things like how to optimize performance and how to reduce the risk of injury for every single one of our athletes. And we'll get into more of that next week.